Hello, we at P2 would like to welcome you to this short video tutorial. Today we will take a closer look at the measurement setup with a first generation HVA. In the process we show the cork connection procedure for a wrist and measurement. Please note that this is only a theoretical measurement setup and that no high voltage is applied here. Before carrying out any high voltage test of an HVA test set, read the safety instructions and the user manual in its entirety. Do not operate the HVA test set without understanding the safety information. The HVA test set is meant for specific application only. Use it in safe manner and sound condition only. Working on a high voltage asset can be extremely dangerous. Only personal qualified, skilled and authorized in electrical engineering are allowed to operate the HVA test set and its accessories. Proof of necessary qualifications for working in the high voltage domain is mandatory. Before approaching the work, clearly establish the responsibilities. The operator is responsible for the safety requirements during the whole measurement. It's mandatory to obey the five safety rules from the safety instructions at all times. First, switch off the device on the test. Second, secure against re-energizing. Third, discharge and proof there. Fourth, ground and short circuit. Five, cover or close of nearby life parts. You may proceed with the measurement using the HVA test set only if all safety precautions, applicable, normative and relevant local safety regulations are obeyed. Please study the equipment setup for the specific HVA test set in order to set up the equipment in a safe manner. Establish secure earthing via connection. Follow the safe equipment setup to do that in a safe and proper manner. Never assume that the equipment is safe to handle without using the necessary safety equipment and earthing procedures. Now let's start with the measurement setup. In step 1 we first connect all the earth connection cables. We start with the earth connection of the HVA and then we connect the earth connections to the ground of the DUT. Please do this for the phases that are not tested. In step 2, we connect the power cable to the HVA. However, the unit should not be switched on at this point. In step 3, we connect the HVA test lead. We start to screw the test lead into the HVA output connector. Step 4. Verify connections. Check that all cables are attached securely. Five. Configure the interlock plug. Verify that the HVA interlock plug is connected. At step 6, configure the communication port. For USB data transfer mode, connect the USB flash adapter and insert the USB stick. Otherwise, verify that the RS232 cable is not connected to the HVA. Turn on at the HVA main switch. Turn the key switch on the on position and now the HVA system automatically boots. To start up, the default screen appears and you are now in the main menu. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like more information about P2 and our products, please visit our website. The link is in the info box. And if you have any technical queries about your B2 device, please contact us in technical support at support at b2hv.com.